Aloha and good day, friends and yogis. I'm Nicole Spirit, and we're here with Puppy Finn and Puka Dog, looking super cute. And we're doing a beautiful class today, simply called Forgiveness. So please arrive on your mat, get comfortable. I've forgiven myself already because I spilled some toothpaste on my shirt. <laughs> So rather than changing, I just thought, let's get this party started and we're gonna have a beautiful practice together. So arriving today in Sukhasana, which is easy pose, a good space, just getting into your seat. That feels cozy and good. Take your hands and bring your sitting bones behind you and just feel that natural elongation of the spine. So finding our breath to start, Let's just notice that we have a seven count inhale and seven count exhale, and we're gonna send that energy all the way up the spine as we breathe in, and then as we exhale, we might visualize all the chakras or energy centers as we exhale. So finding that space where you feel like you're connecting to the earth, you're grounding and rooting even a little bit deeper than your imagination can take you and see if we can float into the center of the earth and really feel supported and start to enliven the chakras as we inhale and feel the whole torso, the whole neck, the whole head brighten up and then even at the top of the head we ignite the crown chakra, the purple. And then on the exhale breath we get a sense of connecting all the way to the universe, the heavens, the stars, the sun, the moon, and then we get that beautiful energy soothing our spinal column on the way back down, Shushumna Nadi, which is that amazing electrical cord of light, magnetic as well, that doesn't actually have a physicality. It's an energetic connection. So take a couple more deep breaths and use your visualization to take that little electrical magnetic energetic cord, go right down to the center of the earth, plug in, feel like there's support and love that comes right back up through all of your energy centers, goes out the top of your head, and goes and connects to our sun, um, maybe to a favorite constellation. I love the Pleiades. Just seeing if there's a starry constellation that you want to tune into today as well. And as we plug into our seven count inhale and exhale, I thought I'd read a little affirmator card about forgiveness. It's a bonus card. So the next thing I want you to do is put your hands on your heart. And I want you to, first of all, just forgive yourself. There might be absolutely nothing that comes to mind or there could be a lot of things, but just seeing right off the bat if there's something that you could forgive yourself for. And then if it feels right, I want you to think about somebody or somebody, someone who, need, who you would like to forgive. So just think about that for a couple of moments. And then I want you to see if there's anybody that you feel like you would like forgiveness from. And you can picture that person or you can imagine being in a compassionate and harmonious relationship with all of these different people, yourself and others. And I'm gonna read the forgiveness card. Congratulations, you've been given one of the most powerful superpowers there is. Forgiveness. Imagine that you've been bitten by a radioactive um, forgiver. The point is you suddenly have the ability to forgive people for their flaws, their bad days, their unkind moments, and their mistakes. And the best thing about forgiveness is that you can apply it to yourself too. Have fun wielding your new power. But remember, with forgiveness comes great inner peace. And I think that's why we bother doing it in the first place, to experience that peace. 
So let's just start to come back to who we are, where we are, what we're doing. Get grounded. Notice your surroundings. Look at something. Smell the air. Hear the sounds. This is a 528 hertz forgiveness, compassion, meditation, music um, that's accompanying us today. And I want you to also just feel where you are. Feel how you are right now. Feel how things are going. Let's come off of our seat and we're actually going to lie down today. So take a couple of moments, get your feet in front of you, plug into the ground like you've plugged into an imaginary electrical cord. Hug a beautiful imaginary tree. I meant prong, electrical prong with your feet. And then remember to lower down, don't just crash. And once you're on the ground, just notice how it feels to have your knees up, to settle your spine, your low back into the ground. And just really being so compassionate with yourself today that there's no judgment. Anything that comes to mind, you just gently observe and smile. And this is one of my favorite little mantras or sayings at the moment. You are perfect just the way you are. So let's extend the left leg out long. We're going to bring the right knee in and up and just give ourselves a hug. Pause for a moment and flex and point through that right foot. Circle it around at the ankle. Good. And then we're gently going to lift the toes up towards the sky. Take your hand behind your right thigh. And we're just going to make some full leg circles. So release the hands. Your knee can stay bent. And we're going to very gently just circle around at the hip so that nothing else in your body moves. Tighten up your core, your powerhouse, your energy center, your dantian, your elixir field. And we're going to feel that right side associated with the sun, ha, as in hatha yoga. Come back to center, pause for a moment. If you're feeling super vigorous, straighten your leg, make the circle bigger. If you want to keep it kind of chill, knee is a bit more bent and the circle is smaller. The rest of your body stays very still, like you're kind of glued to the floor. Good, and when you're done, come back to center, pause for a moment, let's bend that knee, and we're gonna take our left hand up on the knee for a spinal twist. Right arm comes out to the floor, big inhale, breath, exhale, draw the knee over to the left, and I'm sending you the love that I'm getting from looking at little puppy Finn. And then to go a little bit deeper into your twist, remember you can always look over your right extended arm. So I want you to breathe as though you're wringing out a towel. Bring your awareness of breath all the way down to your extended toes. Let's take one more breath here and just really honor and enjoy this spinal direction of twisting out any of our stuff. Let's come back to center with the breath. Inhale to gently float up. Exhale to release the right leg. And then just find a space where your hips are back in balance. Breathe, soften, enjoy. Notice, hopefully your right hip has a little bit more of a alive and awake feeling. Let's do the other side. So first we're going to draw the knee in and up. We start with one leg wind release. Just give yourself a hug. And if you have any digestive issues, this is a really nice thing to do first thing in the morning. Even in bed, it really helps. And then we're going to slowly start to straighten through the toes. We can clasp the behind our thigh. And we'll just do a couple of point and flex motions with our foot. Keep your chin nice and tucked towards your chest. And then we're going to circle around at the ankle one way and then the other. Maybe smile softly. Maybe create an inner smile in that peaceful place in your heart. Let's release the arms by our sides is fine. And then we're going to circle that left leg around. You can even engage your core, put your hand on your belly so that you feel this nice activation. 
Breathing into the left side now, the yin, the moon side, the feminine. Two more circles. Remember, big if you've got lots of energy or keep it nice and small. Pause, let's go the other way. And I love to visualize that we're making nice little bubbles or circles of love up in front of our toes that are just like cherry blossoms floating down on us. Hey, buddy. Two more circles, nothing else moves. <laughs> and then come back to center. Arms extend out to the side, shoulder height. Let's bend that left knee. And you can stay here if you want to go into twist, right hand up on the outside of the knee or thigh. We can even adjust the hips a little to the left. And on an exhale, gently draw the knee over to the right. So just allowing for spinal twist. Super easy, super lovely. We can stay here or go a little deeper into the twist by looking over the left shoulder towards the fingers. Inner smile. Out of the corner of my eye, I can see two crows making a nest in the tree. And it's just so sweet to see this beautiful, caring, compassionate, instinctual energy of creating this strong, beautiful new home. Let's come back to center. Take a big inhale and then exhale. You're going to float everything back up. Gently release on the left side, straighten out through the hips. And let's just be here for a moment where you feel your body, your legs, your back. And we're going to scoop up a big hug. Give yourself a big warm bear hug. Wrap your arms around your shoulders. And I want you to say, I love me. You can say it out loud. You can say it in your heart. The main thing is, I really want you to try to feel that energy. Being compassionate and forgiving to yourself, especially when you need that. Let's open the arms wide, big inhale, next breath, and then the exhale will bring the other arm on top. And this time we're giving ourselves a hug, but we're going to feel the energy of, I love you. So I want you to imagine, especially somebody that maybe is a troublemaker in your life. And I love the little saying, angels come in the form of troublemakers. But you're going to send forgiveness to somebody else right now. You're going to send them that energy of loving them and just wishing for their good health and happiness. And then we just let it go. Open the arms back wide. See how you feel here. And one of my favorite breaths, if you've done any of my classes, is the ha breath. It's the healing sound for the heart. And it's also the second part of the word aloha. So we're going to do four ha breaths, making snow angel wings with our arms while we exhale. So the inhale, we float the arms up. And then we exhale, we make the sound Let's do three more. Remember the caterpillar going into the cocoon, turning to goo. And then slowly a butterfly starts to grow and eventually emerge. Sweep away any stagnation, any tension, any anger. And then we're gently going to let our arms rest by our sides. So stay here for a couple more moments. Enjoy your breathing. Remember that seven count inhale and seven count exhale that allows us to go into rest and repair. Good. The next thing we're going to do is very gently bring the knees up, feet close to your bottom, and we're going to prepare for a bridge pose. So this is so wonderful. It reminds us that our heart is the bridge between the lower chakras and the me, me, me energies to 
the heart and then through the neck and the throat and above the crown chakra and those are the you you use the bridge is the heart where we find that space of love for each other let's slowly start to lift the hips and the spine up and away from the mat get to a place that feels good you can always place a block under your sacrum or base of the spine keep your chin tucked and you might even snuggle your shoulder blades a little bit closer together underneath you. Another option is to place your hips right in your hands and notice this nice high lift. And just close the eyes. Maybe notice a gentle energy floating into the neck and the throat and sensing or feeling the blue throat chakra, which is your spiritual energy it's how you really feel, your truth center. And this is where we release our bad habits, where we use our true voice. Now, if you're feeling like this is a bit intense, you can always release and do a couple of bridge rolls where you lift and lower with the breath. Or you can just hang out here. Let's see if we can do two more breaths. Variations, of course, include having the arms down, maybe even hands clasped together underneath you. And you're just allowing for this beautiful energy to float up into the neck and the throat. And we might even visualize our throat center glowing with the color blue. Think of your favorite hobbies as a child and notice what you're doing now in life. When are you going to start living your greatest fullest dreams and if you are already here is a validation for you and if you need some inspiration let's imagine in one year that we're doing what makes us so happy and healthy wherever you are release your spine mindfully to the mat now allow each vertebra to make contact and then as you arrive you just gently feel your body enjoy what you're experiencing mm. nice restorative practice just allowing for a gentle release of whatever's going on in the world in your body in your heart in your mind and right now we're intending to find that infinite well of peace within us. And maybe it's in our heart. So take your fingers now and bring them right to your sternum. That's the hard bone that keeps your ribs together, right above the heart chakra. And you're just gonna press gently with your fingers into the sternum. And I want you to smile and think about three things, people, animals, places, that you are grateful for. So go ahead and do that now. You can keep your spine plugged into the mat, gently sensing your face softening as you smile and you think about these energies that you are so grateful for. And if it's very challenging, that's okay. Think simple and just be thankful for the very very lovely things like maybe doing a yoga class or a little bit of energy work every day let's take one more breath finding gratitude for four separate things people animals places trees flowers food let's release the fingers now we're going to raise up the legs we're going to take the soles of the feet and the palms of the hands together we're going to rub 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 we're going to create a little friction and light between our palms and the soles of our feet and if this is too intense just do the hands.
not gonna lie, the warm sun coming in on the back side of the body feels really, really good. I'm so grateful for that sensation right now. All right, release, bring your feet down, and then I want you to open your hands as wide as your shoulders, and then gently bring your hands back together. Don't quite touch your hands. Let your palms be curved, and I want you to sense and feel energy between your hands. Create a chi ball or an energetic healing phenomena. It almost feels like there's, there's a magnetic force pushing the hands away. And then we, when we draw them back together, it's almost like there's a thickness in the air between our hands. So use your visualization, your imagination, your sense of wonder and awe to really intend and create the most beautiful healing ball between your hands. And now I want you to float that ball anywhere that you need it in your physical body or in your emotional centers. You might need it for your mental capacities. You might find your hands floating to your forehead. Just intuitively allow your hands to arrive somewhere. And then if you can, let your hands hover. Don't quite touch the surface, or if you're touching, don't smoosh. Make sure there's a little bit of a field of energy between your hands and your surface of your body. And just a quick side note, if you're sending energy to your knees or your feet, just maybe having the hands hovering above the hips, and use that beautiful imagination to send chi, prana, energy, healing, down to anywhere that you might not quite touch or reach. And I want you to spend a couple more moments just intending for this healing ball to do just that, to allow for some forgiveness and compassion and for some space for alignment in your body aligning with the best energy for you, for healing and happiness and healthiness at this time. Now we're gonna make the energy ball one more time. So bring your hands up, say thank you for the healing you received. Rub your hands together, this time go side to side. And then come back to center, gently make your chi ball again, your healing ball. And this one is for somebody else. And I want you to imagine that this person, either they are getting your forgiveness or they're giving it to you. And I want you to bring your hands now gently over your heart. So you can place one hand down and the other on top. And I would love for you to feel and sense harmony between you and another individual that perhaps you have had a little bit of challenge with. And I want you to see yourself going back to or restoring that harmony. And you might even visualize that you're rebuilding a bridge that might have been damaged or broken or burned or anything, something that you want to restore that harmony between you and someone else. And all you do is imagine having maybe a nice cup of tea with that person, maybe just a friendly smile or a couple moments of conversation, and then carrying on with your day. Good. Now gently let that go. Puka's giving compassionate, loving kisses to Finn Dog. That's pretty cutie. And now we're just going to allow for a deep, deep healing to settle in through our whole system. Place your hands over your belly, and I want you to create a connection with the center of the earth and plug in all the way to the earth and find that vitality that you need for your physical life, for your ultimate 
health and excellent physical experience. And remember the earth is the master recycler. So if there's any detritus or debris or any energy that we're releasing, debris, that we can ask the earth to mindfully recycle it. Next, we float our hands to our heart and we make a connection with nature, with love, with our emotions. And we can maybe think about going for a peaceful walk today or spending some time in nature, maybe even just sitting under a tree or marveling at our cherry blossoms or imagining that you're at your favorite place in nature. Maybe it's a tropical location and you take yourself to that happy place for a couple of breaths. Connect with nature somewhere, somehow. And then gently bring your hands up to your forehead, one hand over the other, and take a couple of moments to connect to heaven, to the universe, to the stars, to the cosmos. And you might find that you have a whole family of light waiting for you patiently and beautifully, showing you how much love and compassion and forgiveness exists when we're in our pure soul, when we're part of our higher self and connected to source or God energy. So whatever that means for you, just imagining that you are bathed in heavenly light from the sun and from the moon and from your favorite stars and constellations. And it sends purple warming light through your whole body, all the way down to your feet. You connect with the earth. And then that energy floats all the way back up again. And you feel your awareness now at your heart center. Release your hands. And we remember that in our heart, we experience unconditional love, compassion, forgiveness, understanding, harmony, and unity. Sometimes we refer to the universal laws, which is pure love. There is no hatred or anger in the heart. So if we find any challenging or difficult emotions, we gently smile and just imagine that healing place, our happy place, while we take a few deeper breaths. Okie dokie, okie dokie. Puka's motherly love is coming out towards her little brother or little son, Puka. I mean, Finn. They're not related, how could you tell? But they are one family. <laughs> so wherever you are, I'd like you to imagine having the most wonderful day. I want you to forgive yourself and forgive someone else. You can do it energetically, you can do it physically, or you can just gently, simply imagine it and then let it go like a couple of happy little blossoms floating off the tree. I want you to take a deep breath and visualize, imagine yourself going to sleep tonight and right before you fall asleep, you give thanks for your day and you imagine 
yourself as healthy and happy as possible. And if it's available, see if you can really feel that as well. Feeling is the secret, which is one of my favorite books by Neville Goddard. So feel happy now, feel compassionate, feel peaceful. So whenever you're ready, let's start to extend the legs long, bring the arms up overhead, give yourself a big stretch on the right, on the left, morning stretch, midday stretch, evening stretch. Bring your knees up, give yourself a hug. And then gently we're going to roll onto our side, push the ground away, and come up to a seated position. So I wish you a beautiful, pardon me, beautiful and wonderful process with forgiveness and compassion today. Let's float the hands to the heart. Take a few deep breaths. We dedicate the merits of our practice to all sentient beings. May we all be relieved of our suffering and may we dwell together with great fruitfulness and harmony. Hands up to the third eye. Namaste. Take good care. We'll see you next time. Thank you.